We're back, people, and today we're going to film on Julian Hill, Miami Dolphins tight end versus the Panthers. You know, ever since, you know, he got over that injury and really became a part of this plan and became that backup tight end for this team, he's been one of my favorite players to watch each week. His blocking has been so good. I'm excited to see him get involved in the passing game. He ran some routes in this one, was open versus some zone coverage, nothing too crazy, but really going to focus on his blocking reps, and he's just making a huge impact out here. He made a huge play sealing out on this one, on this toss to Mostert. They leave Brian Burns unblocked, who's an amazing player, you know, better as a pass rusher, but look at the effect that he has on this. Building momentum, looking at this great angle that he takes, attacking the inside shoulder of him, gets low square extension, just the power and shock to create all that space. Also good blocking up front by like Isaiah Wynn, Austin Jackson, everyone doing their job. And then Mostert makes, you know, a highlight play. I'll have a video on Mostert uh, probably in the next day or two because he played lights out again. But Julian Hill has been sensational in this role for the Dolphins. He's just such a good fit. And I think, you know, that tight end room just being better fits for the offense because I think Gusecki's a good player, but he just wasn't a fit for this team. Has really helped, I think, expand this running game when they go, you know, with these tight ends on the field, fullback. It's just everyone out there can run block and the o-line obviously is much better but julian hill making such a big impact because it's not easy to get that type of block with that much momentum and hit him with that good of an angle and it's also great scheme with mcdaniel by how he set that up they really do love to move a lot of their tight ends julian hill especially he's very athletic he moves well and just kicking guys out again brian burns taking on an edge defender like this play gained zero yards but his specific play i feel like he does his role here pretty well burns definitely plays this one a little bit better than the other one but you can still he's coming in at full speed still able to create a bit of a push attack that inside leverage attack the inside half of this man that's what you want to do here to create this push and he does enough of his job here to give Ahmed a room like Ahmed could have scored here he just uh the other guy came unblocked who Hunt was trying to kick out, and they got him, you know, just a little bit too late. And uh, But that's a good job by Julian Hill to give this power at the point of attack and square these guys up. Because when you're moving that fast, it's very easy to whiff on these guys, especially when they're athletic edge defenders. All they have to do is slip just a little bit, and you miss. But Hill showing some really good aiming points, uh, tracking these guys down when he's on the move in motion, motion on motion. It doesn't matter if he's on the move on these runs he's been very very effective another great thing about julian hill is he also can just be in line he can just straight up block defensive ends as you'll see later but he also just climbed to second level and block linebackers very nice to see like it's a four yard gain and he just does his job here we'll watch this you know they motion across dolphins run some gap scheme work here they pull win across they don't block this up perfectly but hill does a good job of like selling like he's going to block the defensive end so he gets the defensive end to get, try to engage him but he slips underneath so the defensive ends you know hesitated a little bit so wins able to kick out to him in perfect time to play and then julian hill climbs the second level is able to block up 54 like it's nothing and is able to move him out of the play drive him uh very effective it just you know most had to cut this back the other way which was unfortunate but they still gained four yards julian hill just showing why he's looked like amazing for an undrafted guy he's looked really really good for this offense just really want to see him get some work in the passing game because i feel like he adds some a little more athleticism like smythe is a lot more reliable but i think he has a little more juice out there on his routes than smythe would add so i want to see what he can bring when he gets some of targets here you get to see him base blocking panthers jump off sides here so like the play didn't end up counting but you can just see him driving a defensive end just down the field tight in line tight end they also have Chris Brooks in on the play, motioning him across. Unfortunate, I, I don't hope Brooks' injury isn't too serious. I know he got carted off off the sideline, so I hope he's okay because he was looking good in this game again. I'm a huge fan of the undrafted guys. And he just drives, pretty good technique. He like goes out to him, takes a good angle. Look at his first step here. That first step, you get wide, you flatten this out so you can have the perfect angle to get to this guy. You attack him straight up, square him up, lift, extend those hips into him, and then you drive your feet with it. If, you know, this guy, if you can just imagine he didn't come in unblocked, because I think there's a little bit of a miscommunication here for sure, because Austin Jackson just climbed straight to the second level. So either he expected Brooks to go up on the defensive tackle, which I doubt is what it was expected, or he expected Hunt's help here. Um, there's just a clear miscommunication. Miscommunication. So if this guy didn't come in unblocked. This would have been a huge run. Look how much, like if he just got any body on him. There was all this room out to this next level, and Hill was blocking his guy, who's a big edge defender for quite some time. Julian Hill on the move again, lead blocker up into the hole. He's not, like, kicking out this time. He's sort of just 
leading up, follow through him, and just nice to see him used in the different ways. The versatility. I uh, love all the different concepts the Dolphins are using too. Motion across, like outside zone sweep type of play. And sometimes, you know, you're not going to be able to square someone up. They're going to go super low to try to like chop you and take you out of the play. You just want to use your body, get out of there, and then gets over the top. He doesn't like just try to sit on it because then Ahmed would have ran right into him. He just falls over the top, knows that, you know, this guy's going low on him, so might as well go over the top, take him out of the play as much as he can, and then they get a nice little seven-yard game with him as a lead blocker. Uh, nice to see him making just pretty nuanced, savvy type of plays for, you know, a guy who's undrafted. Love me some UDFAs that can come in and produce right away, and the Dolphins, you know, have found one for sure in Julian Hill, who's surprisingly was the most impactful undrafted guy right away. Here to see him motion across again. On some split zone opposite side of the play. This game gains no yards. Or I think they even lose a yard. But on the backside, he's just kicking out Ryan Burns again. Look at him make an adjustment here. I love this adjustment. He's coming in at full speed. He starts to slow this down. And then a little angled forward right here. Because he sees Burns is going to shoot a field. He drops that shoulder right into this. It's just a toss away from him. So he's not super involved in the play. But he keeps doing his job. Just when he's asked to do it, run away. Nice adjustment here you got to be able to adjust your angles you can see look how tight burns is burns is ready to come down the line a lot of times when the guys come down on line unblocked like this you know they can end up making an impact if they have to cut back and he'll just adjust that angle and drops his shoulder perfectly into him so if this was you know a wind back play there was the possibility for some big yardage with everything overflowing but um that's just which wasn't the play design on that one but he'll keeps um just doing what's expected of him Julian Hill in line on this third and one touchdown run. Him and Smythe to the same side. Dolphins don't run a ton of 12. Like him and Smythe typically aren't on the field at the same time. Hill just gets uh, gets to, you know, spell Smythe. Because Smythe was playing every single snap when it was just him and Croft. They weren't re really trusting Croft at all. Croft is just sort of that third guy, depth guy that they'll play if anyone gets injured. But since Hill's been back, they've been, you know, splitting a decent amount. Smythe's the starter, but they're letting Hill come in. They're more of, you know, they'll run two backs rather than run two tight ends out there. But when they've needed to, they've, you know, had some effect, you know, working a double team up here combo on a defensive end. I like the angle he takes here to get off the ball. This guy has slight inside leverage. He explodes off the ball laterally. He stays square, pretty balanced. And even though this guy, like, knocks him off balance here, because this defense tackle is able to get some into, like, some penetration instantly. And Hill, even getting knocked off balance from the side here, is still able to fight and help drive this guy down the field so he has no impact and Mostert can get upfield and just get that one yard touchdown. So pretty impressive there play strength wise, I think, from Julian Hill in balance. Julian Hill also had an impact play on this last Savon Ahmed touchdown, just sealing out, you know, crack back almost. He's a, like, the guy actually does a pretty good job, the defender. You got to give him some credit. But this is just play design, getting him set up. And, like, he does have the leverage advantage, but it's not, like, super advantageous. Usually they have, like, usually you'd be, like, where Cedric was right here pre-snap to get this easy block. So he has to get out there pretty quickly. And I think he just gets knocked off balance a little bit. So he's like, well, at this point, I'm kind of about to hold him. So I might as well just seal, make sure I keep my body position. Because sometimes it's not about pushing, creating movement upfield. You just need to keep your positioning. And everyone gets to the outside. Austin Jackson's able to help you know, lead the run too, but Hill just understanding his leverage and positioning is all he needs. Get your hips hooked across this guy. Even though he's pushing you away, Ackman, they're able to seal this to the outside and get there into the end zone. Julian Hill, love what I've seen from him. Like everything combined, you know, he's make he's got that play strength. He's got that shock in his hands to create movement down the field. He knows like positioning leverage. He's doing it on the move. He's doing it in line. And then um, he's also doing it out in space, climbing to the second level, things like that. And then we just need to see him as a pass catcher. Like the routes, I mean, it's nothing too crazy to show in this film. He definitely ran more, but it was more just like sit down over the middle of his zone, not getting targeted. There were sometimes he was open and could have got targeted, but they had bigger shots down the field that they ended up completing. So it made sense he didn't get the ball. And I would just like to see him getting some of the work because the tight ends aren't super important in the passing game. But I'd like to see him maybe get like one of those RPOs where he's down in the flat, catch the ball, see what he can do after the catch because that's kind of where the tight ends can make their impact. And it'd be pretty fun to see. Uh, for this Dolphins office. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.